everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we've jumped systems, and the reason why I did that is twofold. Uh, one, we had a fair amount of repair time on our mechs, so I figured jumping systems will uh, at least, um, uh, you know, give us the ability to pick up some, some more stuff out of a new store, which we needed. Uh, we needed Goss ammo, which we were lucky enough to get one ton of Goss ammo in the store, which is great. Um, and uh, also because we're sitting there waiting for so long, I thought we would at least jump over here, see what kind of missions we could take for um, Clan Jade Falcon to get rep up, which is perfect because there is a mission here we can take. Um, so we're going to go do that today. But uh, let's have a quick look in the mech bay first. I did a couple of things. First thing I did is I thought, you know what, the Grand Summoners... They're just an extra mech on the field, so I pulled them both out of service for now. Uh, we do have enough mechs here. We got nine mechs, so we're okay for mechs. I'm not really worried about it. And the Grand Summoners weren't really holding their own, so they're out of the. I didn't sell them, but they're out of the. Uh, they're out of the rotation for now. I just put them in storage, so we got both of them in here just in case we need them. But for now, they're just going to be out of the battle. Uh, we have the Night Gear. Is it this guy? Uh, no, Where, is it one of the primes, right? It's this one. No, no, that's the AMS one. Here we go here. So I did refit on the uh, night gear with aero systems. And it worked out okay. I mean, it's not, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We're going to use it today just to see how it plays. But we've got a pair of aero systems in each arm, plus the Omnipod lower to give us plus one arm accuracy. A pair of ED ER medium lasers just as backups. These are really, we're not going to be using them. But they're there if we run out of ammo and we're fighting a battle the last the, the last man again, then we'll have it. Um, with a laser AMS to back it up. Three tons of arrow ammo, which is 15 rounds for each arrow system. Uh, one jump jet, Guardian ECM, and we have fire control system, double plus indirect, which gives us plus three to indirect fire. Uh, a slick suite and tracker sensors to give us a bonus at uh, longer and extreme ranges. So he's just going to stamp way, way back and fire all this guy's going to do. A uh, pair of extra heat sinks in here. Um, the heat efficiency is garbage, but I put the extra heat sinks in just in case we needed to to use them, or if someone's shooting inferno ammo at us and we're starting to get overheated. Uh, if we're not using the two medium lasers, these are what, 21 heat each, I think? Yeah, so it's 42 heat less. So, you know, we're looking at, what, 80, 77 heat? Uh, no, 76 heat uh, on an alpha strike. So it's not too bad. These arrows are pretty pretty darn hot, 35 heat each. Uh, plus the jump jet jumping if we jump and stuff. So anyway, that's that, that's that guy. And then we picked up a couple of Gauss rifles and a double um, ammo bin of Gauss ammo. Managed to pick up one ton of Gauss ammo on this planet. So I refitted this direwolf. It's a really really tricky refit we're like pushed to the max on weight unfortunately not much else I can do on this guy um, but you saw the last battle as soon as that dire wolf moved close it started taking a heavy fire from um, the uh, Hetzikot Galopolis to overheat it and it just basically shut down and it was useless at that point so I put a pair of clan Gauss rifles on with a range of 780 meters with this beautiful the heavy Gauss is 600 and something, right? No, it's 530. So it needs to be a little closer, but still, these guys can fire at long range. Uh, tracker sensors in here. We got the range finder with plus one gunnery. Left the fire control system hag in here. So we're doing 20% more damage uh, with these guys as well. So these things are going to be hitting for 90 each. This is hitting for 180. And that's it. We've got 14, 14 turns of Gauss uh, ammo and 18 turns of heavy Gauss. So I was hoping to get... Um, we go to equipment real quick. I was hoping to put in the lower arm pods, but it won't let me. Um, can't be used with the obstruction right arm, which is this guy. The Gauss rifles won't allow me to do that. So we're kind of stuck this way. So we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, we got plus two for the for the accuracy for here, and then an extreme range for plus four. <coughs> Excuse me, plus four to hit. Going to see how this mech performs. Oops, let's just go back here. So yeah, that's that's that guy. And that's it. I didn't really do anything else. Everything else is still as it was. Um, didn't change any other mechs. The Orion is still being worked on. It was kind of shoved down the chain because I wanted to get everything else repaired. And, like the short term uh, uh, repairs, I wanted to get all back so we have enough mechs for today. So we've got eight mechs in play. We're going to take two missions. Uh, 
two lower skull missions with four mechs each. So let's go to the command center. We're going to start off with a Jade Falcon mission against Clan Wolf here. Turn the tables, three skull. Going to negotiate this. We have got a lot of time before the end of the month, so we're going to go this route. This is a destroy ba base mission. We're going to get uh, 19 um, rep with these guys, so that's good. So let's take, uh, sure, let's take our main lance. Um, yeah, I, I think we'll probably, ah, uh, God, it's a toss up now. Um, do I want to run the arrow on this mi mission or the next one? This is a destroy base, so let's run the arrow on this mission, and let's pull out this night gear, and where are we here? Arrow system mech, I think it's this guy, yes. Okay, Goofy, you're going to run the Goofy mech. Um, yeah, let's deploy and get this one done. Alright, here we go. Oh, looks like we got some guys to help us out too. Isn't that nice? What are they going to be doing all that much? All right. So the my the goal my whole goal of taking looks like they got a support lance an extra lance, which is fine. My whole goal of taking um, these lower missions right. and going right. full. Um, let's see how we're doing here. And going full uh, rep reputation is I want to get both uh, Jade Falcon and Clan Wolf into ally status. And the reason for that is I want to be able to just bounce back and forth between the two of them, fighting against each each of them. Um, because the goal is to be able to just be fighting the clans. Um, because they're they're giving us a little bit better of a challenge, I think. Um, just, just because of the quality of their max, giving us better salvage and everything too. So the goal would be to bounce back and forth between the two, playing the rep back and forth. So we'll lose rep with one and then gain it back by taking a mission against the other. Um, and that'll work the whole way, the whole way through. Bouncing it back and forth, that's the goal anyway. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. There's uh, plenty of um, High Skull, Falcon, uh, Clan Wolves, um, planets al along each other's borders. So that's what we're going to do. All right, Goofy. Do 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 do. This is what we got this here for. Firing. Enemy structure is weakening. <laughs> we could just use Goofy and for missions like this, and just have him walk towards the extraction point and just shoot until the buildings are gone, and then hop on the dropship and get out. Uh, but we won't get any battle experience if we do it that way. I gotta test out this Gauss Rifle mech too. Alright. So the heavy Gauss I think is 18 tons. I mean if, you know, for whatever reason, if we're not enjoying the heavy Gauss, we could always sw swap it back with a reg another regular Gauss and then another long range energy weapon or something. Because the heat sinking is so good on this damn thing. Uh, let's just reserve you because you're we we boxed you in. We picked up a blip. Oh, good. Oh, what do we got over here? Grand Summoner. Oh, freaking Nidhog. Awaiting orders. Target the Nidhog or the buildings. Let's just go after the buildings because we're good like that. Um. Yeah, that's probably fine. The target is confirmed. Enemy structure eliminated. Yeah, it took me a while to get this arrow mech built, but damn. Have no doubt it will be done. It's so good. Don't worry, Goofy, we're gonna get you back into an ATM mech. This one's gonna be on workhorse or something like that. Like we don't even need to have accuracy to hit mechs, we could just target the ground right beside them. Are ya? Oh, there's another one over here too. 
Is that a cascatel or is that a... What is that? What is that? So we're going to be facing two lances here as a Nova. Where's our extraction point? I can't remember. We'll need it next turn. <laughs> the buildings will be gone. And we'll just fight our way to the extraction point and leave. There's no point taking extra damage if we can avoid it. Uh, somebody's helicopter is trying to figure out where to go. Come on, I want to get on with the show. I don't want my episodes to blow. Or even run in slow-mo. Okay, the, uh, <laughs> the helicopter wait time wrap is, uh, is getting a bit tired. But you know what? The game has been mired. <laughs> I got two kids which I sired. Hope they don't hit me or I'll cryered. Ah, thanks for showing up, buddy. We're gonna leave you guys here to clean up the rest. We'll just take the buildings out for you. Yes, well, at least, uh... In the city battle, we got some half decent movement. Oh, we're not going to be able to see that guy, so let's just reserve. Let's just reserve for a second, see what's going on. He's an infiltrator. We're not going to see them, are we? Alright, let's just get up into position here. Nothing? Nothing. Kid Fox. Oh, I see. We got eyes on the turrets now. That's one of the things we are getting the bleep on. The bleeps, the sweeps, and the creeps. Yeah. I want to see what the turrets are for crying out loud. I think that Nidhogg took some damage. It sounded like it did. I don't see it. Didn't see any numbers. Did not see any numbers. What do we got here? Heavy streak turret. Something, something. Spantavit. We're getting almost no salvage out of this, so... If we take one thing down, that's great. We'll get something out of it. We don't get to choose anything, so it's not like it really matters. Alright, duck. Orders. Oh, direct line of sight. Someone's going to die. Spantive it. What's this guy? Heavy turret chassis. Streak LRM. This is a streak, right? Yeah. This guy looks like he's got, like, artillery. 34%, huh? Firing. Yeah, it's a dual gun turret. I think we need to arrow that thing. It's coming up behind us, behind us using us as human shields. I don't care as long as you apply damage to the enemy, but if you're not actually going to hit anybody, please don't use this as cover. That's all I got to say. I'm here. Copy that, Commander. All right, let's see what our chances to hit are. Got two choices. That's in range for the heavy, eh? It's bizarre to have that the heavy have a better chance to hit because of the turret. The turret chassis, right? More damage on this guy. It's just fire. Wow. Nice shooting. Sure did. Yeah, you know, I think I, I think I like that better than the 
those H bores. I think if we get another one of these um, uh, lone wolves, I think we definitely will go with that. Oh, that was the dual gun. That's a oh, that's a thumper turret. I tried taking it out. You guys should have shot at it too, man. That was a two shot. Two shot at a mech. Okay, Goofy. Forget that uh, buildings for now. Just drop some shit on that guy. There's lots of other things around it you can damage. I think our extraction point's over here on the right. I think. It should be, like, they should have that permanently glowing, I think. It's like, hey, this is where you need to leave. But I bet you it's behind. <laughs> well, I'm having to kill everybody. Oh, come on. I got caught over here. That guy's aiming at me. I'm going to take it in the rear. He's going to hit me hard like a steer. Gonna knock me out, make me want to go for a beer. Gonna look hard at him, gonna give him a leer. When the arrows hit, he's gonna be a smear. And then everyone in the back, they're just gonna cheer. Come on, let's go. It won't even let me move the camera over. Oh man. Sorry guys. How do you like the buildings here? They're nice though, aren't they? Hey, eh? like the buildings? They look pretty cool, don't they? It's really what I, that's really why I did that. I just wanted to show you the buildings. It's good to go. Uh Cannot get a direct line of sight on that turret over there, can we? I could try and drop some shiz on this guy, see if we can take it out without... Yeah, I probably will. That's that's a good chance to hit. Without having to use the arrows. Beautiful. Turret destroyed. You got that right! Um, let's move this way. I'm clicking. Why do you not let me go there? I'm clicking. I know people say I should be be uh, re have like sending in a bug report, but they're working on the new version now. This is the old version, so it doesn't matter. They don't, they're not going to bother. Oh, now it works. Now it works. There you go. Roger that. Just got to click a lot of buttons. That's the way it works, man. Got faulty shit? Just start clicking everything. It'll start to work. That's how, that's how it do. Okay, I think I should have... If we want to shoot this guy, I should have uh, Infiltrator take this building down and then have Dallas sh shoot him. <laughs> He's fly flying low in behind the building there. Oh man. It's like sitting on a can. See, anything with an an is easy to, to rhyme. If you've ever watched that Sesame Street, um, if you ever watched Sesame Street and you watched the, the one episode with the, uh, um, the thief who steals the golden an, you'll know what I'm talking about. I take the golden and I take it to Fran in the tan van. Yeah, that's the plan. And a cop comes by. That's the plan. I'm Officer Dan. I'm the man. I'm going to give you 15 years in the can for stealing the golden and. And the guy's like, ah, I should have ran. I'm sure that's not 100% accurate, but that's what I remember. It's pretty darn close, I think. Close enough. Can't get a chopper from there, eh? I should probably shoot that streak turret, though. 
give us an opportunity to pick up some streak weapons. I don't know. We're not going to use them. We've got the one streak 20. See ya. Thorn. So I sold all of the light and medium mech parts we had. It wasn't a whole lot, but I sold them all. Um, wow, this, I keep forgetting how fast these night gears are in sprinting on the streets. Um, because we didn't need them. You know, if we get more, great. I'm just looking at heavies and assaults now. See if we can get some of this turret too. Beautiful. Well, now we'll know where it is. Bet you it's over here, right? It's not. Oh, yes it is. I don't know why I got all angry there for a second. Okay, you glorious bastard. Smash this guy. Well, one of them hit. And he's destroyed. Uh, sorry, you hear all those screams? I think that was everybody in the Galleria Mall. That's my bad, I'm sorry. I guess I can't move. That's fine. I got stealth. No one's going to see me anyway. Yeah, you keep attempting to shoot that guy. So now that we got this mission completed, we're going to go back. Um, we'll get our second lance up and running. And we're going to go down and do one for Wolf. Now there's two three skull missions for Wolf. We're going to do one of them. Um, I think they're against pirates or something. We're going to get our rep back. I think we're just going to go full rep on that one as well. Just terminate the enemy with extreme prejudice. We might even take the arrow mech in again. I mean, it's a good possibility because we really haven't uh, we really haven't taken any damage here. No, full sprint. Let's clean this turret up. Right, that's what it is. Yeah. He's covering the landing zone, so we got to kill it. Thank you. Two turns, or oh, maybe three turns, and we're out. Awaiting order. Look how fast this guy is. Breaking. Well, that Nidhog has been giving the uh, Clan Wolf a bit of an issue, so let's do this. A little bit of damage. Didn't get the buildings though. Grand Summoner's running. It's like, fuck this, I'm done. I'm done, I'm going home. That guy's running too. It's like, why bother staying? The turrets are, <laughs> turrets are gone, the buildings are gone. It's like, just retreat, save yourself. Retreat, save yourself. I don't think we need to take the AMS mech in the next mission. I think we'll leave that one out. So it's a little bit underpowered with only a couple of LRM 20s. So maybe we swap that out for the arrow mech. So we'll go with the Zeus. Um, the second archer in the two night gears, the ATM night gear and the, uh, the arrow. I don't know, it's supposed to be a stand-up fight, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But we'll see. I mean, if we can pummel di people from a distance with the with the arrows, it's 15 turns of firing, too. So at three skulls, I don't think they're going to survive that long. And then we got the rack ripping apart a mech pretty much every turn. If it's the same kind of out like defenses these guys have here, where they've got one understrength lance and one full strength lance, they won't last very long. 
Then the ATM Mac will burn through stuff and the Archer will burn through stuff. Especially in a city environment where they're caught out in the open. They're not sitting in trees or stuff. They're going to be in trouble. Okay, full speed out of here. I'd love to be able to shoot at people, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Full yeah, we got two more turns to go after that. Do 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 I wonder if we can see this guy through the buildings now. Oh, maybe until he disappears that is. Commander? We're not gonna fight. We're not gonna fight either. Let's just make a way out of here. Roger. Was a really good test of this uh this uh, gauss rifle mech, but it did hit two, hit twice with two turns and took out two two vehicles, so that's kind of good. The chance to hit was roughly what the chance to hit of everybody else was at that range, so not bad. Might be able to kill that Balak. We got two turns left. We got two artillery mechs. It'd be kind of cool if you had like three full mech bays of, of mechs. All roughly like mediums and lights and stuff. And then just all you did was like lower end missions. You could actually have like missile mechs in cities like this that just lob shit over buildings and you never just engage directly. Like you can set up a whole whack of different lances for different situations. Uh, can we finish that last turret off? Get some cash for the turrets. God, the LRM-70 is so devastating at this, at this, uh, Skull rating. I mean, it wasn't a kill there, but still, that was a lot of damage. The arrows will finish that up. And then we got... Ah, uh, great, we got a, uh, something moving. It's a chopper. And I don't mean a motorcycle. Or a bicycle. Or a popsicle. I can't think of anything else to say sickle. <laughs> uh, please let me know in the comment section if my raps are boring you. It's getting harder and harder to come up with uh, with stuff. It's just sounding like fluff. It's like my golf ball landed in the rough. And the person I was playing against just said tough. That guy was just trying to snuff me out. But I ain't nothing to pout about. Because I'm about to go out. Almost here guys, almost. Hopefully the next mission, well the next mission will be a steamroller. We're just going to roll over the enemy as fast as we can. Get that one done. It'll be nice to have, like, well at least the rep will be up enough with Jade Falcon now that we can do three and a half skull missions. And that'll afford us the opportunity to get up to four, four and a half, and five relatively quickly I think. Prowler. It'd be nice to be able to do just like I'm receiving you. Um, five skull uh, Jade Falcon and then switch over and do a five skull uh, 
clan wolf mission back and forth like that would be really nice because at least then we know it's going to be tough competition, right? And at least if we, and also too, if we get a, if we get uh, up to five skull for both, then we could also augment our, uh, our um, rep with them by doing missions against pirates and stuff too for each one, keeping them at max, you know. So if we ever uh, take a mission where it really drops us, it won't go below, um, we won't go below eighty rep with them, which will be nice. I think the maximum rep, we're losing 15 from with Wolf from with this mission. And that's only because we're going full rep with uh, Falcon for it, right? Kind of makes sense though if you think about it. It's like we're, we're doing this mission for free for uh, Jade Falcon, which is like obviously going to piss Wolf off. It's like, why are you doing missions for them for free, not for us? I don't know who we're going after. Sure. Roger. I totally get why they'd be mad. See ya. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. You got that right. They're still gonna be mad if we attack them and we get paid for it, but at least it's like it's a professional courtesy. It's like, you know, nothing personal, it's just business. Can we guess what those mechs are? I'm under heavy fire. You are not. God, these guys are just complaining. Our morale is up at like what? Something ridiculously high, like 30, 30 something now. Well, not ridiculously high, but high enough. Let's get out of here, guys. There it is, folks. Let's go back home, get paid. Well, get paid a rep. All right, here we go. That's not bad. That's definitely not what the amount of damage we took. We took such minor damage. I don't mind getting our uh, uh, freaking medium chem laser, huh? Okay. I could just see these guys. It's like, yeah, you know, they did it for rep. But here, just give them this chem laser. <laughs> see what they do. Uh, what do we got? Archer 2. Okay, perfect. So we can go ahead and take this next mission now. God. All right. Chem laser, huh? Uh, retribution. Which one is giving us more money? This one is. Battle in Urban, uh, local pirate organization, beautiful. We'll take this one. It's a little bit more, a little bit more sea bills. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go full rep and get our rep back with Clan Wolf. It's not gonna get us back up to where we were, but at least the next mission we take with them, it'll put us over the top. So we're gonna go this route, taking the full 19, and we're gonna flush our lance out here. Okay, this one's staying in. So we're going to go with uh, Zeus. We're going to go with the second Night Gear Prime, which is our ATM one, right? Uh, no, that's the AMS. The JK, the Just Kidding one. And then the Archer. And then we're going to take Helia, Gondol, a Mastodon, and a Workhorse, who apparently is supposed to have... Uh, the Warlord ability, but it's not showing up. It isn't a skill, but it's like... I, I don't know. I don't know why it's not there. There's something wrong with this guy. He also requires, for Guts and Tactics, he also requires double uh, double points to be able to get it up one. Although, for some reason, his Tactics is saying six. I bet it'll be five when we come back. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Don't look like we have any any uh, buddy on our side, but that's fine. So we got a scout lance. Darius is of course warning us about possibility of having us. Oh, there's a support lance. Okay, where are they? Oh, over here. 
So they may have reinforcements too, which means we could be four against 15. Uh, I want to gain control of some fire lanes here. Now I don't know if they're going to come this way. They don't really have access to that. Here they are up on here though. They can come down. They can jump. They can jump over. So I'm looking to control fire lanes. One fire lane is definitely here. So that's the fire lane we're going to control. So let's move forward. Right here. Mm -hmm. uh, where's Mastodon? He's up front. Um, let's get you over here. Roger. So the idea about controlling this fire lane is if if they have, I mean, they're going to have direct fire mechs. They're going to need to come in a certain direction, right? It's going to be this way. They're going to walk straight into a rack, you know. So controlling this lane is important. And then we've got three mechs with indirect fire, right? We have three mechs with indirect fire, so I'm not really worried about that. So even if they're not, even if they don't come down this fire lane, we can still shoot at them. And if they do come in the fire lane, they're just dead. Uh, let's just not push it too much. Let's just get up here. Still don't have eyes on. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I don't mind having that first turn with no eyes on. So I've gotten all serious because it could be 15 to 1 here. I'm hearing guys over here. I think they've got reinforcements. Okay, we may need to move this forward a bit. So we may have to push because if we got guys coming from this direction and tons of guys here, we could be in trouble. We're pretty wide open on this fire lane. So I think we're going to make an attempt to push forward. Yeah. We're going to reserve you. I want to keep the arrows ready to go. Yeah, I'm hearing guys coming from the left here. Okay, someone's got a cicada. Okay, we got something else. Looks heavy. Looks like it might be Grand Summoner. It's a Thunderbolt. Roughly the same looking thing anyway. A catapult. Might be able to pull this Chiquita down quickly. 33 in the catapult. Let's take this 43. Can we go with regular ammo and fire? I think with an LRM 70 he's going to be pretty much done. I'm going to reserve you. I want to see if, some, if they come out this way. I don't think the Thunderbolt has jumped yet, so you don't think he's jumping down anytime soon. An Otter. Shit. We've got a cicada I need you to remove for me, please. Oh, we've got a direct line of sight from here on that uh, catapult. So we're going to take that with the rack, I think. Let's just move over here. Of course you do. I know. I knew it. Boom box. Quick draw. Okay. Let's see if we can remove this guy. He's got thunder ammo. Nope. Man, I remember Thunder ammo was so scary. Now it's just like, eh, okay, he's got Thunder. Take a couple points in the legs, no big deal. Got to learn 15. Uh, looks like he's using something too. And that's oh that's a uh, vehicle back there. Light LRM carrier. Okay. Yeah. Think you can fuck me up a catapult? Location confirmed. Oh yeah. 
See if we can get a quick kill on this guy. Here it comes, using the barrage in included. Fuck! <laughs> <Took him> down. <laughs> he just he cleared everything off of there. <laughs> if these guys don't start running after that, I'm going to be very, very shocked. Yeah, man. See ya. That's a whole lot of fuck you is what that is. Okay, let's back it up into here. Now let me move. Oh, come on. You let me do it eventually before. I ah, forget, just stay there. I have no idea where that hit. What was that, by the way? No idea what that was. Let's do this. Let's do this. Wow, point nine, huh? Forget it, let's just attack somebody then. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the boom box has got, uh, yeah, it's got the boom stick on it. Uh, it's still a good distance away. What can we do with this guy? 18%, huh? Well, I'm on it. okay, I have no idea if that hit the vehicle at all. Ow! Fucker! Want to fuck me up a boombox over here? I uh, wonder... Okay, it's indirect fire on that guy. Let's move to here. What's our chance to hit on this guy? That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let's multi-target this. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here. B is going to take the ATMs. And A will take the LRMs, the barrage, and the tag, and fire. I got enough for everybody. Beautiful. One more for the press. Okay, three down. Who do we have left? Workhorse, Hellion? Workhorse can take the boomstick, and Hellion will go after the, uh... Oh, shit, this guy's... Where did he go? He leaps, he soars! Is that the PPC version? I think it is. So Hellion's gonna go after the Thunderbolt. I don't know what this guy, what this guy's got, though. He might have a tag, something or other. Maybe we put the streak on him. We'll see. I don't know. It might be good just to shoot this guy down if we can. If he's got a barrage. I mean, Hellion could just kill this guy. He's, this guy's trying to figure out what to do now. Look how much this is lagged. Wow. It's moving as slow as a cow. Or even a big fat sow. Time for me to go get some chow. Uh, and I'm out of I'm out of owl words. <laughs> chow owl. I mean, you could go crow duh. Flower. I don't know. 
kind of done with those words. That kind of wrapping is for the birds. Huh. Spitting out words like they're turds. Uh, and I'm out of urds. <laughs> oh, I could... Poutine is basically French fry and curds. Um, I, don't know, I can't think of any erd words. I think they're done now anyway. Okay, beautiful. Good to go. Twenty-one percent. That's not that bad. Let's split fire. Just don't shoot friggin' Hellion in the back, man. How do we just get this guy? Not the building. Okay, where is the chopper? We'll do you first. You second. Okay, so... The 20s will go to B. 15s will go to A. Okay, good. Oof, not quite enough, eh? I think I hit something good. You did, but you didn't kill him. Well, I shouldn't really complain. Okay, rapier moving up. Walking over some frozen nitrogen tanks, trying to keep himself cool. Oh, you're running away, dude! I was going to shoot you. Okay, well, this is the quick draw. Yeah. Racks jammed, huh? Well. Alright, I was going to move down and control the fire lanes, but we'll just control it from back here. Those guys at the back can't really do anything. Mostly hit them. Alright, they're down to what? One, four, seven. Okay. Was three to one, now it's almost two to one. What was that back there? Oh, that's the Goss version. You little shit, where are you? Where is he? Stealth, that's for sure. What's this guy? Marsden, alright. Racks up. Catapult three. Well, this guy's in for a beating. Here you go. Let's paste him. I think I just hit on something. God, that's got to be horrible, eh? Coming around the corner thinking you're going to take advantage of... Uh, a surprise attack and running right into a rack five at a streak taking the full damage in your face it's like oh shit that was a bad move I should have peeked around the corner first for Christ's sake which I knew where that catapult was the goss gossipult Commander. uh what we here Hammer him. See ya. One last target. Down to six. Oh, you can see us. That's what you were trying to do. This is our firing lane, man. You don't get to fight here. You do not get to fight here. Oh, HE range. 
You did not brace yourself. You should brace yourself for this, though. I like them apples. Yeah, the direct fire arrows, not so good. Let's use Warlord to keep our heat down, though. We're going to fire on him, though. He's taking severe damage. Oh, yeah. See ya. You big turd blossom. That's how you control a fire lane, guys. This is your lane here. We own this lane. Right? That's what that's what having a fire lane's all about. Yeah, he's backing up. Right? You want to own this street. Nobody crosses the street without you allowing it. Okay, that guy's back over here. Alright. That rips up a bunch of armor. There's a hard hit there. And it's the same thing here, right? You own the street. You don't let them have any any inroads on it. Especially when you're if you got a lot of guys with like indirect fire. If you own the laneway and they can't come down it, they can't get to you and you can just hit them with like long range fire the whole ma the whole match. Hmm. I got to see where that Goss guy is. I don't know. He's probably stealth, which means I'm not going to get a chance to see him. Let's take out who we can though. Let's move into here. Uh, our Goss rifle is on or our rack is on the right arm, so let's make sure we turn no, it's in the left arm, isn't it? Left arm. Okay, there's the light carrier. It's a bombard. Alright. Well, now we know where he is. He's stuck in a little narrow corridor there. You're just tearing him up. Drop it in on him. That should kill the building. He should fall, take damage, and go down. Yeah, baby! I don't think he's destroyed, though. Let's move forward a little bit. So we got our ATMs and our LRMs. LRMs going after this guy. Ready for order. Oh, we got a direct line of sight on. Who is this back here? Catapult 2. We'll worry about that next turn. We will move over here, though. He's already moved, so... I mean, he'll be able to see us, but we'll be able to see him. Let's finish this guy up if we can. Ooh. Geez, you took the faceful and... Nope, you didn't. <laughs> I was going to say you took the faceful and survived, but... Not today. Okay, we need to get you up here. HE's out of range, I think, at this point, right? Yep. But these aren't... I was going to go against that Raptor, but there's no point. Because he can't really go anywhere. He's stuck in a little corner here. Or the rapier, sorry. He's got to come out of here to go somewhere. And then he he's not going to get away from us. If he jumps over, then maybe. But see how it goes. Yeah, you're going to like regret doing that. Going to regret doing that. They're down to four. So I guess that's I guess the uh, bombard didn't die over there. Hanging in there. Yep. They can chaff you all the all they want. It ain't gonna help. Who's going to get it today? Pirate Marsden, maybe? Yeah, probably. Let's 
It's not going to be enough for a kill, I don't think, but we'll see how we do. She's just going to tear you up. Here it comes, people. Here it comes. See how we do. Affirmative. All right, we didn't get both of them, but we did some good damage. Wrecking the city in the process. You hire us, you know damn well we're going to wreck your city. That's just our track record. On the move. Multi target. You. You. Put those on B, the rest on A. I think the sound effects are going weird now. I haven't gotten either of them yet. <laughs> Can you kill at least one of these guys for me? I'm, I'm making bad choices here. Okay, if we split fire, are we going to get them both? Well, at least we'll knock this guy down. Let's split fire again. You. You. Both taking some good damage. Let's put uh, these guys on B and everything else to A. Switching these to HE. Let's yeah, let's put this on B because I think A will die. At least he'll go down. Yeah, he's going down. Wow, he hit all of them with the AMS. Well, that was pretty lousy. I'm getting cocky, that's what it is. At least the rack didn't hit. Oh, I think that pirate rack too, I think that's the one that does the scatter shot. So rather than doing, I think it's like an LBX <laughs> AC, rotary AC2. I've got one of those in my, in my inventory. It's a really kind of bizarre weapon. He's overheating. Maybe we killed a lot of his heat sinking. This guy's the Goss, is it the Goss version or is that the... I think that's the Goss version, isn't it? Oh, he's got a rotary AC2. I don't got very much left though. Yeah, you just stay there. Alright, well. Come on. Give me this guy's B. B. Well, I probably have stealth. Forget it then. Just shoot A. Oh, he survived that. That was a critical hit. Wow, he survived. He survived that. So, I don't know if this guy's back here still, but... Roger. He's not anymore. Well, what the hell just happened? How do we kill...
what the hell just happened? Is that Mar Marsden died? It's just that guy left. That's one of those weird... There's something weird. Remember that time we took all those head hits? There's something like that that's going on. When you blow up buildings, shrapnel flies everywhere or something? I have no idea what the hell that was. Alright, so 346,000. That ain't that bad. That ain't that bad. Considering we didn't take any uh, salvage or anything like that, I don't mind taking that. We'll take the 19 rep. That's beautiful. And we got five basic cockpits. Valued at 60 grand a piece, so we're going to make about, I don't know, like, uh, whatever it is going to be. I don't know, 20, 30 something thousand. All right. Let's have a look here. 31,000, so that's pretty good. Three days to repair. So we'll be back. We'll be able to do a full mission in the next little bit. Hopefully we can take a mecha salvage and we'll make our financial report. Uh, there's a few four skull missions, I think, we'll, um, that we could probably do. There's a four and a half here, too. It's against Clan Wolf. I don't know if we'll do that, though. Clean up the marks. Um, Jade Falcon. Ah, hot Landing is pirates okay we'll probably do this one next or we could do the yeah let's do the we'll do the wolf one next we're not gonna do it right now but we'll do it next episode against pirates we're gonna go full rep on this one again too to get us back over or maybe not no probably not we should get over without a problem we're at 79 so we'll get over no problem with this mission um but it's nice to have jade falcon back up again we're at 28. We got a lot. We got a long way to go, but it's worth it. Um, take us a while to get back up to the top again, but we can at least do I think three and a half skull missions now, something like that. So we'll pull off a, a couple missions, probably this mission next episode. Um, and we'll, we 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 may do both of these next episode. We'll take like five or six mechs into this one, and we'll just take four into this guy. I think that should probably do it. Alright, but I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.